Hello everybody, this is the last set of exercises for the omics tools of VectorBase. In the first part of the video, we are going to learn how to use the gene pages. There are different options um, to reach to the gene pages. One could be if, for example, you are using a site search and you use a keyword, a gene ID, you will obtain here in the page uh, results a card Click on this blue link and you will land in the gene page. Another option is if you are in a strategy and you select the results from any of the steps, here I have selected step number two, and I just select any of the genes, again, shown as blue link, click on it, and I land in the gene page. For every single gene, in every single genome, there is a gene page. The gene page presents all the related information that, uh, for the gene that you are looking at. This includes the gene ID, the gene metadata, could be name or symbol or function, the location, it could be in a chromosome or scaffold and the base pair range, if it's forward or reverse trend, the number of exons, the number of transcripts, also in silico predicted information. For example, uh, domains predicted with Interpro, data obtained in the lab, for example, RNA-seq, or tools to analyze the genes, for example, BLAST or CLUSTER. In this table of contents, you can have an overview of the sections in which the page is organized. With a click here in Expand All, uh, you can have a general overview of everything this page has. You can also um, collapse this table of contents. When you find a section to which you would like to go, you just click on it to jump to the specific location and perform the action you want to do or um, look at the data. When you click on that arrow, we'll go to the top of the page. Each of the different views or windows of the genome browser has custom tracks open. For example, in the ortology and synteny section, we have all the other Anopheles ortholox genes to the gene that we are looking at. And in the sequence analysis uh, section, we have the gene of interest with all the transcripts and the non-redundant database protein alignments. Without leaving this gene page, you can interact in these browser views with a click on a scroll and zoom. Here, take this, and now you're able to visualize uh, and move. These windows take us to the second topic of this video, the genome browser. There are different options to reach the genome browser. Two of those are from the tools menu, genome browser, or from a gene page, click on view in genome browser. If I click here, I land in the genome browser page, and I am exactly looking at the same gene that I was looking in the gene record page. If I want to change the species, uh, I click here in this genome menu, the Genome Browser is organized in different sections and menus, and you will explore all of those in the exercises. To change location in the, geno in the genome, you can use these arrows, or uh, you can use the search box. And here you can either type a location or a gene ID, or even uh, a gene name or symbol. For example, GPROP, and here 
I have all these different options. So I select one, for example, I want this one and it will load in my new location. Each track, if you approach them with a the mouse, notice how uh, this arrowhead pointing down appears. And if I click on it, I have more options, including, for example, save track data. You can zoom in different ways. I can click and drag with my mouse or trackpad, And you will notice here that the jeans that are in blue have this arrow facing forward and the jeans that are in red or pink are facing reverse. You can also zoom with the magnifying glass and we have four because it depends on the magnitude of how much you want to zoom in or zoom out. as I just shown here. If you want to um, close these tracks and open new ones, you click here on select tracks. And you can either select from the categories available here, or you can type a keyword also. For example, I want RNA seed tracks and after uh, reading what they say, I selected this one and click on back to browser. Hope you have learned a lot today. Enjoy the exercises. Bye-bye.